just to show you guys a little bit of how far we go for the customer there. This is all sound deadening and sealer is what we use and it covers all the welds. So if there's like a tiny pinhole, we don't want no water coming back in on our customers. We want them to be nice, clean, and dry. So that's the Dakota carpet, which I'm putting in now. And all you do is you just trim it to fit like you would a normal car. It'll tuck up underneath the, everything up there and everything under the pedals, it's just like a factory one did. But, yep, it's all peel and sealed. Throw the carpet on, I'll show you after I get that carpet in. That's with the original carpet back in. Yeah, I know it's nasty, but hey, it's the carpet. Peel and seal all around. Yes, you're gonna see this, of course. I mean, factory, well, not the factory, but the trucks had a door seal that would have, you know, hid that. Not these ones, but the Dakotas. Uh, factory shifter boot and everything's back in. Now I'm gonna put the seats in. But yeah, I actually cleaned the carpet. It's still pretty dank, but, you know, all the human goo is stuck in there. And that's the Dakota interior. Now, personally, I do not like the high back seats. If this was mine, I would find something low back that don't come up to the back window. But, you use what comes with the truck. Certain console thing is in, the shift boot and all that's in. Now, all we have to work on is the let's see here I gotta do the headlights and the AC probably next um, yeah overdrive switch too I'll have to find a way I'll probably just make a little U here for your e-brake or something probably make a little bend in it and put it over here with the little U thing so we can grab it I just don't want to grab your leg or nothing while you're getting out, so. Moving, but I'm getting tired. It's like 105 out. I'm, I'm getting hot. All right, Tuesday the 20th. I have the bottom of that door done. I just primed it. That's all taken care of. Battery box is built. Yes, that's where we put them sometimes. Sometimes we put them under the bed. This side is done. It's eight o'clock and I'm done. Still gotta do this side. Uh, still gotta make the fillers and blah, 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 blah. But got the headlights, got the battery, it's over there. Uh, got some more primer, that's why it looks a little orangish instead of red. But yeah, I'm wore out, it's hot. It's like 105 here today, but it's starting to get cloudy and gonna rain, but I'm done. Today's my birthday, it's the 20th. Turn the big, I'm not gonna tell you, but yes. Done for today. There is some, let's just say a branch of the channel I am getting ready to make. As soon as the new thing gets here, when it does, if it does, but yeah, we're moving speed. No, this is not laying on here. There is a pretty big like 3 16 gap under there. And no, that's not coming off. But I am Audi. So I have the battery hooked up. I've got everything else hooked up. The gauges are sitting back in here. And let me make sure it's in nudie. It's in nudie. I'm gonna turn the key on. Well, that's good so far. Okay, that's not good. The key is not working to start it. Well, it might have a, a clutch safety on it. 
nope no safety there so let me think what else could it be uh, well I do have some grounds I got to hook up still in here let's do them and see what happens from that point okay found out what the problem was bad relay and I actually touched it and when I did it actually cranked but since it didn't have no fuel or anything huh. that's odd it cranked out there when I hit it what's going on here Unless that relay is bad, of course. The other one, I swapped one. You can see that's the one I pulled out. And when I actually squeezed it together, it cranked over. But that doesn't mean the one I put there is good. Could just be a little dirty in there. Give that a try. No, you can hear something clicking still. So, I'm going to check fuses now. Let's see what's wrong here. It is now closing time. What I got done was the AC switch over there. Uh, I did all the wiring and everything under the dash. It's done. What else have I done today? It's just been long projects. Uh, I don't think I messed with the motor any today. Oh, welded that big slit up in there. And then I basically fixed the tailgate. Remember, this is off of a different tailgate. I had to weld it on to the other part. It's giving me problems though. It's super tight, so it don't wanna go on and off easy. This side is wicked loose. And it's actually got to go to the left. But there's no room to go left. So I'm thinking all it is is I just got to bend this in and it'll be fine. But it's late. It's 1030. Uh, tomorrow we are getting the wheels. Well, not the wheels, the tires to put on the rims that are in the back of the truck. To take put on here. Make sure I have this one off. I'm gonna take the rest off. And tomorrow, let's see here, what else we gotta get done? We have to get done. There's some more body work's gotta get done. Wheels and tires will be done tomorrow. Filler neck, bed floor gauges, headlights, tail lights, running boards, chicken lights, which is what they call them. The grill's gotta go back in. I already got the battery done. It does run-ish. What? Bed cab fill. Oh, we gotta make them filler panels for the cab. These tomorrow's gotta be made. The, uh. That, I mean, there's really no other way to do it. But it don't look too bad. So, it's basically what I do. I just cut it out, turn it sideways. You can put it straight up and down, but I think it looks better like that. Uh. What else? I, oh, gauge is still got to be done. But yeah, still haven't figured out, which I'm pretty sure it's the ignition switch line ain't starting. But. Dang, that's spring loaded. Uh, filling it tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. I need to fix that hole there tomorrow, too. Yeah, we'll get the bed put on. I had to put some filler boards up here, and I'll tell you why. I ain't ashamed of it. I keep forgetting that that stupid top right there is higher than anything else under here. So when you go to do it, you need to, well, if you go to build a bed floor like we did, right there, that's the height you need to be higher than. Basically, if you do it right here in the center like I did, this is where I started, go half an inch higher than that. There you go. Half an inch higher than that. Measure down from 
here to the bar then make the same on all the rails same height same height same height bed floor will be level with the truck it won't be like some people have it to where it's deep back here and high up there you know but i'm gone i'm done i'm toast so i don't know what's up here but turn the key on crank it nothing it just clicks up here now here's the thing though the relay i took the cap off all right but it won't fire from the key switch but it does run it runs mint too like i mean mint <laughs> 